Hey everyone, this is a very quick review of uh, saving instructions if you were to drag and drop in Photoshop, meaning you can download an image and then have it in a file location on your computer and drag it into the program, which makes things pretty quick and easy to get good quality results when you're doing this uh, this way specifically. So your objective is to learn how to drag pictures from Windows downloads uh, into Photoshop and then understand Windows file paths and all that means. I go back to this image search for movie posters and right click and save image as you're looking at Windows and Windows folders and this is the file path right now it would save in uh, a folder on the desktop called one dot multimedia and what you can do is navigate like that's not going to get you there. If you go into your downloads, which is where things should go, or specifically go into pictures and create a file location to store your work, um, you'll be organized and have a quick access to pictures when you need to work. So uh, ultimately, what you can do is create a new folder in your pictures or your downloads, but call it. Photoshop or something that you're going to remember, and then you're going to see in your pictures folders, Photoshop, you save this, and generally speaking, what you'll see is if you save another one, save in the jazz, it's going to keep bringing you back to the same place and space. So uh, anytime you go back after doing this, you should have no problem quickly saving things. And then the idea being, you're going to go into your pictures, uh, find your new folder, sort by date, get my new list on top here. If you know how to get access to like your pictures and then that folder and grab these, also you want to have these things seen as extra large icons. And just at that point you can drag those kinds of images into this created a different layer and did it funky. So, something like this. drag right over the icon for the program, drag it into the program. It's just that what you're using to edit, but that's the, the general gist of drag and drop in Photoshop.